Wilming Kilpatrick back in the spotlight tonight. The IRS now taking a closer look at the former mayor. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catullo joins us now with the very latest on what's behind this one, Heather. Well, Stephen, this is pretty much the last thing you want to see from the IRS, a summons. Well, Kwame Kilpatrick claims that he's penniless, but that hasn't deterred the IRS. Today we find, found out they are still digging into the ex-mayor's finances, even while he sits in prison. The IRS issued this summons to Kwame Kilpatrick's attorney, Harold Gurowitz, back in February. They're seeking Kilpatrick and his wife, Carlita's, bank account records from 2003 through 2008. The feds also want all records related to the sale of two of the Kilpatrick's homes, one on Santa Rosa in Detroit and the other on Leslie Street. The IRS also wants the names of each person who gave Kwame Kilpatrick any money from 1992 through 2008. That even includes cash payments. At the moment, it's not clear how much of these records are already in the possession of the U.S. Attorney's Office. The Fed subpoenaed reams of Kilpatrick's financial information before a grand jury charged him with corruption back in 2010. As that lengthy trial revealed, dozens of people testified that they gave Kilpatrick money, often in cash. Kilpatrick's attorney is fighting the summons, saying he can't turn over any of the records because doing so would violate attorney-client privilege. Kwame Kilpatrick is currently serving a 28-year prison sentence. A federal judge ordered him to pay $4.6 million in restitution, and he still owes the city more than $850,000 from the text message case restitution. Kwame Kilpatrick is appealing his conviction, and we're still waiting to hear whether the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals will grant his request for a new trial. Carolyn? All right.